This is the historic Uptown Theater in downtown Grand Prairie. It's a place that many remember as the heartbeat of the city in the decades of the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. The Uptown actually opened on March 17, 1950. It opened as a 1,000 seat single screen movie theater. It was the biggest and the best, the most fabulous technology, uh, the best thing on Main Street. And one of our favorite things about it is the fact that so many people from Grand Prairie remember coming here as, as kids or as young adults. Like many old movie houses on Main Streets all over the country, the Uptown gave way to progress and eventually closed. Once malls started coming in in the 80s and multiplexes, uh, really the people's desire to sort of shop and eat and go to the show at the same place really sort of overtook a lot of uh, downtown Main Street uh, theaters. And, and that sort of is the sad reality of what happened to the Uptown as well. But its magic never went away. And thanks to the efforts of many, the decision was made to renovate it. with the purpose of turning it into a multi-use performing arts facility for the 21st century. The city purchased it, the city did the renovations with the Arts Council and the community involved in what we wanted to see in that facility. Grand Prairie native and renowned architect Killis Almond was chosen to direct the renovation project and in November of 2008 the Uptown Theater reopened to rave reviews. He did a beautiful job of really recapturing the feel of 1950 in this space. And we certainly hear that a lot. We always uh, joke amongst the staff that if we can just get people in the building, we can sell it. The building really sells itself because of that aesthetic. But then beyond that, the way that this room sounds is stunning. And I think that that's what makes a full experience for people is that they are able to walk in the door and see a really gorgeous space. You know, we, we have three walls that are original and the technical booth is in the same location as the projection room was. Uh, other than that, there really uh, are not a lot of similarities. We really had to make a lot of significant changes to the space in order to accommodate um, the Grand Prairie Arts Council and to be able to bring in uh, the kind of entertainment that we've brought in, things that, that normally tour nationally and regionally. They need big stages. They need full lighting systems and full sound systems. Within a few weeks of its grand reopening, the Uptown showed off its versatility, hosting receptions, concerts, movies, and plays, as well as becoming the new permanent home for the Grand Prairie Arts Council's theater and stage productions. Everyone is very surprised. When the audience comes in, they can't believe this Grand Prairie has a theater like this. Uh, when people who are working other theaters in the area see what we have to work in, that they can't believe it. They are shocked at the full sound and light equipment that we have. We have a place to put orchestra, we have dressing rooms, we have a black box rehearsal space. They are amazed. We have a 400 beautiful seat theater. Uh, they're just surprised and I'm always surprised that they're surprised that Grand Prairie would have this. I just, that, that blows me away. But it, it, it impresses anyone who comes in and it just, we're just so pleased to always show it to them. I mean, the leadership was visionary in taking on this project in the first place and the support of the mayor and city council and the park board and uh, city manager's office obviously is what keeps us going and what keeps this really impactful downtown. It's really great for us to be able to see the same people show after show, but I always ask the audience how many of you this is your first time to come to the Uptown, and it's just as gratifying really to be able to see all the people who've never been here before, who are coming for the first time and are stunned at what they see, and really to be welcomed by uh, the Grand Prairie residents who are passionate and excited to tell the new folks about the Uptown and about their experiences here. Another goal was not to just make the Uptown look like it did back in the day, but to make the experience there similar as well, as an affordable and family-friendly place to go. We have always known and wanted this project to be something that was embraced by families in Grand Prairie, and it's really important to us. We do, I did, you know, throw out the $20 ticket. We do discounts for seniors and for students and, and for children, and so it's important for us that they people don't break the bank and they're not worried about that when they come to the Uptown. I think we get a lot of feedback about that in our concession stand. You know, the popcorn's a dollar, two dollars, it's a dollar, it's two dollars, you know, a Coke is two dollars. We want people to come and just 
feel at home and feel relaxed and walk away from our concession stand thinking, oh, that was really good. And walking away from the show thinking, I can't believe I just had that hour and a half experience for $16, $20. Another aspect of the uptown staying downtown is what city leaders see as the bigger picture. We also feel like it's an economic development boost for the city because we are bringing people into the city, we're hiring people, we're paying them. When people are here auditioning and rehearsing for the shows, they're in downtown, they're going down to Joe's Pasta to eat, they're going over to the Brass Bean, they're going to Jack in the Box, they're going over to the antique store. We feel like it's an economic development boost also, bringing people into Grand Prairie who've never been here before and they're discovering our city as well. I think that that's something that is really important to Grand Prairie, to the residents, and to the leadership. And I think that, um, you know, some cities choose to just blow everything up and start again. And I don't think that that's really where we are in Grand Prairie. And it does take a long time to, um, to make change. I think it's typically those processes take 15, 20, 25 years. And um, I think that we'll get there here in Grand Prairie. We absolutely will. We've already seen um, new restaurants come in and stay established since the Uptown has opened and I think that we certainly I'd like to think that we play a role in that. I think that it's just going to continue uh, the growth downtown as there's more and more opportunities and as people become more aware of the opportunities that we have downtown in, in terms of business development. And because of the versatility that has been built in just about anything is possible. Yeah, absolutely. I think not everybody knows that the Uptown is available to rent. And I think the technology is something that surprises and that really our rental clients really enjoy. The fact that we have four lines of electric lights, that our soundboard is digital. Um, bringing in digital really put us ahead of the game in 2008 and it's allowed us, even with how quickly technology changes, the digital board and all of our equipment has kept us um, you know, ahead of the pace. You name it, we've done it, I think. That's what's really fabulous about this space is it is really flexible. Um, obviously, we're the home to the uh, Grand Prairie Arts Council's productions, and they come in four times a year with big stage shows, uh, as well as their summer programming and a show that they do annually in our Black Box Theater. Um, and, and I think that they really enjoy the flexibility of the space. Uh, the city of Grand Prairie certainly sponsors an art series which traditionally has had everything from um, we did a 96 year old blues legend with a 17 year old blues prodigy a couple of years ago that was a really popular show we've had a sleep at the wheel here uh, Ronnie Millsap obviously opened the building for us in 2008 um, but we've also had a really fabulous illusion show and um, we're really proud that it's actually going to be at Bass Hall uh, this summer and we're excited to say we had that a year and a half ago. We are now securing actors, actresses, musicians, performers from throughout the Metroplex. Really talented people that can come in and work with our local folks and then our amateurs can really learn from those people and that has really stepped up the quality of our work and that's what we knew we always needed to do to, to have really great theater and part of our mission is to bring in visitors from outside well in order to do that you need to have some actors actresses performers people working in your shows from outside the area to give reason for people to come see them they're going to bring people with them. Their audiences are then going to come see them. They're going to bring other folks they know. Once people come to the theater, they want to come back. Once those people perform in our theater, other people want to come perform. The word has spread. We're having a great time here. And um, like I said, it's, it's everything from live theater to concerts and everything in between. And we just, um, our website's always updated with new events because, again, it's the Grand Prix Arts Council, it's the city, and it's our rental clients who are also bringing in really fun, uh, really fun entertainment as well. And you can be sure that at the historic Uptown Theater, the best is yet to come. This is the time when we really try to reach out to the community to find out what they want. And so I know what we're doing through the, <laughs> through the summer, but the fall and into spring of 2012 is sort of what we're trying to decide right now. So. So stay tuned. So absolutely stay tuned.